What's up, back members? It's the Rare Spirit Dolph here. And welcome to our next Dark Souls Remastered Let's Play video. You see, we are here in Blight Town, and <laughs> not my favorite area. So, yeah, you see, there's a native down there. We're just gonna punch attack on it, or well, well, it was attempted punch attack. But hey, still, I kill you. So, and we got Large Souls Lost and Dead. Okay. So yeah, I know you can either do to jump, or you can just walk down here. Like I said before, once you get to the bottom of Blight Town, it's not so bad. So what have we got here? Oh, Shadow Master. Okay, or Shadow said it. I don't remember that actually. So yeah, Blight Town is not so bad if you're just trying to proceed on. Like, for example, like, what, wait, wait, was that bonfire? I don't know. Those little things, they can breathe fire, so be careful about that. And I think there's a bonfire over here somewhere. Right. So you just always keep your eyes. Yeah, there's a bonfire. Alright, so great. So I think now we can level up. Let's, let's keep leveling up our attunement. I think a tune is gonna be my like main thing. So yeah. But, yeah so I think if I remember correctly, we do go this way. Yeah, we did. So now we reset that bonfire thing should be a little bit easier. Nice. Of course, still keep your blooming herb moss on with you just in case. And you, you, yeah, you have to see the darts flying, probably, so. Oh, you're toxic. I would say just keep making your way down. That's really the best way to do it in Blight Town, really. Keep on going down. Alright. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore the fatty and the native because they're just getting my way. We're going to enter this white light. And looks like um, the toxic person died. That's always nice. Yeah. I think we're almost at the bottom of Blight Town, actually. Yeah, we did. Oh yeah, we are. So, these are what we call Chaos Flies. I think they're called Chaos Flies. And they're really not that big a deal. Hey, do you want to go to Grandma? Um, sure. Just, just, just a little bit. I'm kind of like, feeling I'm looking for a good stopping point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Pastor, that's something I usually do on like Thursdays and Fridays. I, well, oh, oh dear, toxic again. Yeah, we are just going to kind of make our way to the bottom of Blight Town now, because since see this is this is why I don't like this place. All these, like, all these, all this toxic. It's irritating.
So anyway, once we get to the bottom, we are going to look for our bonfire. So yeah, we are poisoned right now, but that's not that big a deal. Yeah, right in that little alcove there. This the rest of this bonfire. And at this point, all the drama and terror of White Town kind of comes to an end. So pretty much, yeah. So at this point, we don't really have to deal with toxics anymore, we, unless you're, you know, trying to get everything. So just put switch it to the purple because we are gonna deal with poison, but not that. And I'm gonna use a humanity because I'm gonna become human and summon. Well, I can get someone to invade me. So then I can summon her in the next boss fight. So this person is named Man Eater Mildred, and you don't need her to beat the boss, but it is pretty cool to have her with you. Oh god. Except that happened, of course. Well, I mean, I thought maybe a will be here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, I don't, maybe, maybe I'm getting the wrong place. Ah, I'm poisoned. That's okay. Hmm. So, which way do you go then? I don't actually recall which, which place you fight in the but you see, the chaos flies aren't really that bad. And if you... There we go, Mania Man Mildred. Now, where is she? There she is. So I am going to heal up just, just real quick. There we go. Hello, Mildred. Come, come get it. What are you, what are you doing? Sadly, my weapon hits harder, so... Boom, and... Sorry, Mildred, but you're dead. Anyway, yeah, we got humanity from her, so great. And we also got a butcher, the butcher knife, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have enough time to beat the boss. Or face the boss, at least. Now I am just going to let the poison kind of flow for right now because since we're going to be rolling through poison a lot anyway, well right here at least. Okay, come here. Okay, now you see over there we have like giants or whatever who are going to like try to throw things at us, but if you stay to the proper side, then they won't even bother you, so, yeah. Let's just keep on rolling through the swamp. And now, let's hey. get... Huh? Hey, I'm filming here! The nerve of some people, huh, pack members? Don't mind that. That was my dad. He's usually always messing with me in a playful manner. It's no big deal, right? Don't worry about it. Okay. <clears throat> so you see, here's Mania Mildred Sun Sun. So here's how his boss is going to go down. Her name is Chaos Witch Coilag or Coilig. I think it's pronounced Coilag though. And pretty, she's a spider with like a human body. It's hard to explain. You'll see what I mean when we enter. She has like three or four different attacks. The first one is she'll swing her fire sword, but that's not that hard to avoid. The next one is she'll get the spider to spray lava, which will leave pools of lava and just kind of stay out of the lava and you'll be okay. And there's also a leg smash, but she doesn't really do that often. The only real attack that you really got to watch out for is 
the explosion AOE, which will take place where she kind of like kneels down. It kind of looks like she's giving a spire body a hug. And yeah. So other than that, it should be okay. So I am going to top off and let's summon Mildred. So yeah, if you did not defeat Mildred, then her son son would not be available. I mean, you don't need Mildred to fight, but you know, sometimes having a summon is all always nice. I do like summons. Alright, so let's enter the white light, shall we? So it looks like a spider. But wait, you have a flame sword? That's right. There's a human, a part of the spire. That's kind of gross looking, actually. But yeah, but hey, we, he she's in good shape. I can't believe I just said that. I'm not really that kind of guy. But, but hey, if it wasn't for a spire, I'd probably like her. Anyway, let's battle, shall we? So to start things off, let's see what she's gonna do first. All right, yep. Oh. Oh dear, my weapon's at risk. That's not good. Not, not a good time to have. Oh, this is what you want to watch out for. That's the explosion attack. Your back way or block with a good fire shield. doing a good job. She's almost dead though, so... See, not overly difficult, and no drip, you did a good job. So anyway, now at this point, we're going to run up. And I don't know if we can... Well, I definitely need to repair my sword. It's not broken yet, but you don't want it to break mid-battle. And let's pull the lever and ring the second bell. So that's actually the second. So since the second bell, that means both bells are wrong, and that means this giant, whatever you want to call him, will pull the chains and. And boom! Sense Fortress is open. So that's actually where we will be heading next. But that won't be until another episode. So we're not quite done with this area yet though. Sure we got Homer Bone, but uh, you know. I mean I guess we well I mean no. We actually don't want to use that Homer Bone. So here's what we're gonna do. Over there, that's well, we're going to ignore that. So there's a certain wall here. I think it's this one. No. Um which one is this? This one? Yeah. So, come over here. And say yes. 
if you say no, he'll say, be gone with you, and then he won't let you pass, so you have to kill him. And if you kill these egg guys, then they'll sprout like little worms that will chase after you, and those things are a pain. So as you can see, we also have this, she's considered a firekeeper, and you could kill her to get a firekeeper's soul, but I'm not going to do that. So, save here, see if we can level up. No, not quite. Um, so let's repair my sword. Where is it? Good. I don't think there's anything else I can do, so... Yeah. So, I think it's just that just about complete is Spite Town. Now, sadly, we are going to have to run back through that swamp area to get back to, well, Firelink or whatever. But, other than that, it should be yeah, okay, so... Oh yeah. Anyway, that does our after this video. Stay tuned for the next one, and we will be making our way back to Firelink. So, see you guys back in the pack.